Hello everyone, Mr. Science Mover here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to mod textures in Back for Blood. So if you've seen the first tutorial on our channel, you'll have all of your assets extracted and all of these files downloaded. So in order to extract textures from our pack, uh, first we're going to go into Gobi content and then find the texture we want to edit. So let's say we want to edit a gun. We're going to go into items, into weapons, and pick our gun. So let's do a shotgun. And we're going to pick shotgun number one, skin number one. So what we have here is we have a bunch of blueprints, which these are for where shotguns spawn, uh, what animation you use to reload them, and, and etc. Um, but the actual mesh is stored here, textures here, animations, and skins. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this folder of the shotgun, and we're going to open that in our U model. Now we didn't use this in the previous tutorial, but today we're going to use it to read our U asset file. So we're going to actually turn that U asset file into a readable texture. So we're going to go to, we're going to open the files in this folder, um, keep all of these selected, and we'll just hit OK. And if we have the proper directory, we'll see everything in that directory. So what we're going to want to do is first we want to export the mesh so that we can see the actual texture on the mesh. So we're going to export um, the SKM asset. Um, now you can sort of tell that this is the one with the most data in it. So that's going to be the mesh. Um, so this is going to be the model for the shells that pop out and just some other data that we won't actually need right now. So we're going to double click, open that. It's going to ask for an Unreal version. We're going to have to actually hit 4.26 for this. The reason for that is, again, Back for Blood is made using a special version of 4.25. So if we use the 4.25 version here, it won't be able to read all the extra features. So we're going to use 4.26 here. And it should all have loaded. So now we'll see our shotgun with the textures loaded. And what we can do is then hit Tools and Export Current Object. So this is going to ask us where we want to export our mesh. Um, so right now, we can export it, say, let's make a new folder here to be exported shotgun. And we're going to export our mesh there and we can just hit okay on that and now what we're going to get is all the textures for the shotgun we're going to get the mesh of the shotgun in a .psk form and we're going to get the materials for the shotgun so we can now close out U model and just look at the textures themselves. So we have a bunch of things to look at here. So the shotgun itself is grouped into a bunch of different materials and sections of the shotgun. So we're going to have the barrel, which uses these, the receiver, the stock, and the shotgun shell has its own texture. And you can see there's a bunch of them, and these are used for different things such as the color of the shotgun, the um, the metallic texture on the shotgun. Um, there's like some, there's a normal map for the finer details. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the receiver texture, the BC texture. And we can see that this is what the receiver will actually look like, the texture that's mapped onto it. So if we go into 
again into U model. And we look again at those textures. Um, so if we go under mesh, we can see the texture actually mapped onto the mesh. So we're going to do that for now. And we're going to take a look at where this is actually used. So this is the receiver. So it should be like around here, if I'm correct with my gun terminology. So we can sort of see, um, so there's some writing here and that's like right here. So say we want to change the receiver on the gun, we can go ahead and make some changes to this file. So let's say we want our receiver to be some wacky color. Let's make it more saturated and we'll make it darker and we'll make it some funky color. All right, so here's our new receiver. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? So we're gonna save that. Um, we can edit this in pretty much any Photoshop equivalent. Make sure that it's a TGA. We're saving it as a TGA and it should just replace the original file. So now we're gonna head back into where we had our exported textures and you'll see we have our receiver here so that's what we just edited we're going to take that receiver and we're again going to note where this is stored so it should be in gobi content items weapons shotgun sg01 so we're going to need that what we're also going to need is to open unreal now Unreal is installed through the Epic Game Launcher. It's a bit annoying, but what we're going to have to do at this point is cook our content so that we can get our TGA file into a U asset file so that it can be used in Back for Blood in the same format that we got it. So you're going to just make an empty project. So I already have mine. Uh, make sure you have 4.25.4 installed. And we're going to open our empty asset project. So now that we have our Unreal project open, you're going to start off with a scene which has a bunch of starter content in it, and none of that is relevant to us, so you can go ahead and delete that from the level itself, and you can delete that from your content. So that should be located under starter content, you can go ahead and delete all of these folders except for maps, which will get rid of all of that content. Um, for me, these are already empty. It's just as folders there still, um, but that will greatly speed up this process if you delete all of those. So again, what we're going to do is replicate the file structure that we see in the location of the shotgun. So what we're going to do is, as before, instead of starting with the Gobi folder, we're going to treat this content folder in Unreal as this content folder that we see here. So we're going to need items, weapons, shotgun, SG-01. So here I already have an items folder, weapons, we're going to make a shotgun folder and then an SG-01 folder. And because our texture itself is in the textures folder here, we're going to make another folder called textures. And then in that textures folder, we're going to finally put our modified receiver texture. We're going to drag that into Unreal, and we can see 
that it shows up in the proper location. We're going to hit Control S to save that asset. And then we're going to hit File, Cook Content for Windows. You should hear a sound and this pop-up saying that's cooking content for Windows. We'll hit Show Output Log to see how it's going. You can see it's starting to cook our content. And once everything is done, our files are now ready to be put into the game. So we can open up that project in a file explorer. So wherever you saved your empty project, you can go to that directory in file explorer. And instead of going into content, we're going to go into saved. And then we can find cooked, which is where all our cooked content is. I'm going to go into assets, content. So now we're in the proper content folder. And we're going to see items, weapons, shotgun, SG-01, textures. And here is our corresponding receiver texture. So now we have the files ready for import into Back for Blood. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to our mod, which will now be a weapon mod. Actually, let's call it a shotgun mod. Gobi content. We don't need the jump mod anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And we need to, again, replicate this string right here. So we're going to need items, weapons, and so on. So once we've done all that, now we're in the textures folder. We're going to take our newly cooked receiver texture and move that over into our mod folder. Then we're going to head back up all the way to our tutorial, um, our working directory. And once we're in our working directory, we're going to again do what we did with the Unreal Pack and cook our shotgun mod by dragging this right onto the Unreal Pack without compression.bat. And once that's finished, we'll get a second pack here, which is our shotgun mod. So again, we're going to open this pack in HXD. And once we have our pack opened in HXD, we're going to again scroll all the way down to the bottom where we see our E1126F5A03 again. We're going to overwrite that with our special sauce, which is uh, again going to be linked in the description. So that's just pasting our Unreal version into our pack so that Pack for Blood actually reads this file. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to get our new pack file. Let's delete our back because we don't need that. We have our new pack file. That's all packed up and ready to go. So we're going to open up where Back for Blood is actually stored. So once we're at our packs folder, we're going to again copy our mod pack into this packs folder. So all we need to do is rename it to be underscore p and now we can copy a signature and rename it the same as our shotgun mod so what we're going to do now is fire up back for blood and see what our new shotgun looks like so now that we've loaded into the game we can go ahead and run in offline mode and we can check out our new shotgun skin in Fort Hope. There's our jump mod still active. Run over to pick up our new shotgun. And there it is, looking beautiful as ever. A nice and yellow receiver. Ain't that something. Here, we can see it up close. Beautiful. So, that just shows you how to mod textures in Back for Blood. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.